All right, guys. So on this time now, uh, the open guard, but on half guard with the knee shield. Okay, it's a very common position for nogi. All right, when the person in the ball has the knee shield, bow frame, so you cannot get close, and they keep a good distance, and they use that to set up sweeps and submissions. All right. Uh, my big concern on those positions, I don't want the person to start getting under me, all right? And of course, I don't want to get under hook, that the person get under hook on me. And I'm really concerned to the person get under and get under hook on me. So we really want to focus on that, okay? By that time we start focusing on those things, the person on the bottle can start opening up, all right? And we ready to catch those things, to catch those space the person on the bottle giving to us. So the first position we're going to do, it's just a simple knee shield. Like I have my knee in, and he have the knee shield over here. Okay. What I was trying to explain to you guys, like I was saying, to don't let him get under me. So this one, a big thing I like to do over here, it's keep control of this hand. All right. So how do I control this hand? You can do palm up. I'm sorry. Uh, your your hand point up like this. All right, so I'm not trying just to squeeze his wrist. So imagine like I'm kind of setting up on his wrist, or I'm sitting on it, I'm keeping my weight on here. So you can do your fingers point up or your fingers point down. It's very personal, okay? Um, now on this side, so he have a knee shield over here, he probably have a frame on me, okay? So what I'm gonna do with this hand, you can do two things. I like to use like as an L at the same time and start pushing him away. Okay, or if I feel he's like really committing to get under me, or I can just get my arm under here, all right, and then use as a cup right on his thigh. So I'm constantly putting pressure on him, so he should have the hand on me, all right. So now what I'm going to do to start passing his guard, I'm going to do a very simple one first. So you're going to start working for a bunch of different ways, depending on what kind of reaction he giving to me. So here, first one, I'm here. So what I'm gonna do here, I gotta constantly remember that, keeping pressure on my partner. So first one, keeping weight on it, I don't wanna lose his arm. So I'm gonna start putting my, my head right on his chest. All right, so I have post. Remember, I use my head as my third hand. So now what I'm gonna do over here, I'm gonna start extend this leg. At the same time, circle out. So again, so you guys can see in a better angle. So you guys can see in a better angle. So my knees lock over here with my lot of pressure. So you guys gonna feel really comfortable in this situation here because your head is gonna fall here really easy, okay? And my shoulder, look, I'm constantly putting pressure on my partner. So if his knees a little off, I'm covering that, I'm covering that. And now look, my head is over there. So he should have that frame. Okay, look, I'm shoot blocking the hand. Because if I try to reach to his head now, look, don't get under. He's getting under me, yes. That's what people lose a lot, why? They start to get too thirsty and they see the person's head open. But you gotta remember that you shoot inside his guard. You shoot and tangle here. So I'm not reaching for his head right now. I'm not reaching his head till I feel my hook and my legs are free, okay? Um, in order for that position to work, guys, I'm keeping a constant pressure on my partner. All right, you gotta keep the pressure, you gotta keep driving forward, you gotta keep going towards your partner, especially no gi. You know, we don't have that, that grip as we do with the gi, so we constantly gotta keep driving and manage to put weight on my partner. And again, I'm not putting my weight over him, my weight is constantly on him, like I'm constantly pressing him. We gotta keep that. So again, we here, my knee is inside, my knee is not out. We just got on here. Maybe we start from half guard, and then from here, he boom, got an issue. I'm already got in my position. My hand, look, follow his hand. All right, most likely he's gonna try to pull his hand away. Yeah, that's fine, look, my hand is back there. Find it again. Okay, now look, you gotta drop your head. You cannot kick that leg without post. All right, so now look, I'm keeping following this. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start extending. And now look, what I want you guys to do, sorry. So I, you cannot hook my leg again. So look, as I'm extending, look at this. One, 
Chew. All right, look at my hook. So now he don't have my leg anymore. So now I'm not untangled over here or him anymore. All right. In this situation now, I might can start work to get his head. But what he's gonna do, he knows I'm looking for his head. So again, you here, keep the strong position, you locking. So he's doing a really good job over here. You wanna push me away, maybe pull me in, in and out. So I'm extended, hook in. All right, maybe his hook is chill in. Like he got a really good job for keeping me away. So what I'm gonna do, he knows I'm looking for his head. All right, so he's gonna extend his body. Extend your head, yes. That's what we're looking for. So look, I'm still driving. So now instead of go under, I'm gonna go over. And now head down, circle, circle. And then stabilize the north-south position. Okay. A lot of things can happen in the meantime. He can strain on his knees, he can give me his back, okay? But we're gonna go over. And remember, I'm constantly putting pressure on my partner. I'm not releasing pressure for him. I'm doing everything, driving forward. Okay, so again, we're here, got on this position. All right, so man, he's doing a really good job with the knee shield. All right, so I gotta free my leg. So how are we gonna do that? You guys pay attention to things, my head, I gotta drop on him. If I not drop my head, I cannot extend it. All right, so I'm dropping my head, putting weight. If he keep holding me a little bit, it's all right, I'm holding my weight on him. So now I extend it. So I'm not passing from here. I'm switching my hook. You gotta switch your hook, guys, so he doesn't tingle my legs. From here, if he start going bird or whatever, he don't have my leg, right? This one, this one is far from him. He's not gonna get this one, definitely not. As long as I keep this leg far. But this leg, look, he's not having control of this leg anymore. All right, so that's why I give him the freedom to start going around. And now he's probably gonna start heapscape and try to get away from me. That's why, look, I'm going on his head. So we're all the way around. I can go his neck, all right? I'm not stopping on this side. I'm going towards his head and maybe even all the way around, okay? So I don't stop till I get 100% controlling position. So, or I'm stopping north-south, or I go all the way around, maybe he's gonna give me his back, or maybe he's just gonna give me the pass. Okay, so one more time. Show you guys on this side a little bit so you guys can see. So, remember, from here, don't drop that knee on the mat. All right, so hand immediately. Right in here, look, putting weight on him, putting weight on him. So look, now you guys can see how I cleared this. So I just extend my leg, and I'll circle, lock. So he probably gonna start pushing and heapscape, yes. So I don't go here, okay, not under. So look, over, my head driving him, keep heapscaping. So he's moving, look, go towards his head. I can get his back, or from here, just push him back and stabilize the side control. So I know all the possible things he can do. He can turn his back, but I'm going all the way around. Don't stop on the side. Okay, or go to north south or all, all the way around. All right, so I'm gonna do one the full speed now. Actually, that's this way, better. So I'm stepping, we got here. So knee shield, all right, extend it. Don't keep this leg closed. Extend it, look at my head. If you start heapscape or push me away, not a problem, extend it, lock that hook. All right, my hook is out, you cannot get on my leg. So I don't wanna go here. I, I do wanna, I can do that, but most like the person at the bottom, he's not gonna give me that, he knows. So he's gonna extend and push his ass. So I go over, circle, head, look at my head. As you can see, my head is right on his head, on his chest. Sorry, so now go all the way if you need to. Lock the seatbelt, pull him back, cover, stabilize the side control. All right, actually now I'm gonna do the full speed. So here, 